Hey everyone, my name is Alexandra and I am a watercolor artist. Today I want to talk to you guys about something that may be a little controversial in the painting world, but I want to talk to you about why I never paint with black paint. So seems like a super bold statement and I will say I do use black on occasion, but the more that I've painted with watercolor, I've learned that when I want to get those really true dark colors, I much prefer mixing other colors together rather than using a black paint out of the tube. So I am going to talk to you guys about why, talk to you guys about how to stop using black in your paintings, and you can decide for yourself if you agree with this view or not. So when I'm deciding what colors to use in my paintings, often I like to look at what I'm trying to paint and see what colors are used within an image. One really good way to test and see what you're looking for is if you have a picture of the image that you're painting to use on your iPad, phone, computer, whatever, use a color picker and find the exact color points of where you're trying to paint. One thing you guys will notice that may surprise you is often when you're trying to paint black, when you actually go in and pick the color you're looking for, it never is a true black. Often there's undertones of other colors in it. So reason number one of why I often don't paint with black is because when I'm actually looking at images that I'm trying to paint, usually they never are a true black. So I'm gonna show you guys this a little bit more with an example. We're gonna paint some peaches together in a bit and I'll show you what that looks like. So the second reason that I don't like to use black just straight out of the tube is it often doesn't blend well with the colors that we use in our paintings. So again, I'll show you this as we paint peaches, um, but you'll see that using a straight up black often makes colors look muddy, especially when you're mixing it with something like a yellow or an orange or anything that's sort of on that lighter range of colors. Third reason that I don't like using black straight out of the tube is whenever it's mixed yourself, just using either a mix of primary colors, complementary colors, however you want to do it, it adds so much more interest to your painting and so much more depth. So again, you guys will see this as we paint together, but it makes such a difference to just transform your painting from something that might look flat and lifeless to something that has a lot of depth to it. So the last main reason that I don't like to use black paint straight out of the tube on my paintings is because by mixing colors off of the color wheel, I can make that black set the mood of my painting. So if I want it to be really warm and bright, if I'm painting something that's really warm and bright and I, I wanna continue with that, then I'm gonna make my black lean more towards warmer tones. If I'm painting an image where I really want those cool tones to show out, then I'm gonna do the same thing with my black paint and I'm gonna lean it towards the more blue, cooler tones in the painting. All right, so now we're gonna take all of that, make it super practical, and we're gonna paint some things so that you guys can actually see what that looks like. If you wanna paint along, I've listed the supplies below, so feel free to take a look. Otherwise, grab a paintbrush. If you guys just have primary paint colors and you're following along, then that works. Let's get started. I was trying to think of something to best show you guys what it looks like and how to show the difference. So I decided we're gonna paint two different peaches together. With one of the peaches, I'm gonna use black as my shading to make things darker so that you can kind of see the round shape of the peach. The other one, I'm gonna stick with using paint colors that are on my palette. Um, this can be done using primary colors or complementary mixing, however. But what I've done is I've drawn two circles on my page. I've really lightly drawn out the peaches. Um, if you guys are following along, feel free to do that too. But for both of them, I'm going to start by using the same colors. So we're gonna mix sort of a yellow and a red. And I am gonna start with my one that I'm using black for the shadowing. So I'm just starting by filling it in as I normally would.
And now with peaches, we know it's often a mixture of red and yellow. So I'll mix in all those colors as usual. Now, what I want to do is make it look like there's a shadow at the bottom. So to do this, I'm going to go into my black paint that I have on my palette here. I'm just gonna get it wet. And now I'm gonna go along the bottom of my peach. So just give it that shadow. Now, just like I normally would, I'm gonna blend it in a little bit into the rest, rest of it. And then I also wanna show that it has, has the line going down the middle so we can add some more in a bit. But I'm gonna let it dry like that and we'll see what it looks like when it dries. So now we're gonna go to our other one where I'm gonna mix darker colors, but I'm not gonna use black for this one. So I'm starting exactly the same with mixing together sort of a yellowy orange color. I'm gonna add some leaves in after, which is why I sort of have that gap. I know sometimes it's hard to see the pencil on the camera. So now I'm gonna go in just like I did with that first one. And I'm gonna add some red paint in there. Okay. Now, just like I did with the first one, I want to make it look darker along the bottom as if it's sitting on a counter so you can see the shading in it. So I'm gonna go into my paints. I have my yellow paint here. I have a red. I'll mix them on my palette to make them nice and dark. Now I can go in and I can add a little bit of blue in there. So I'm just trying to get, to, get it to a nice dark sort of black light color. So I'm adding some more yellow, some more blue, and now I'm gonna go into my peach and paint it in. It's not quite dark enough here, so I'm just gonna go in and add some more. So right away, you guys should be able to tell the difference where the one on the left, the black did mix in, but it sort of came up with this weird greenish color. Whereas when I mixed it myself, it is a deeper brown, which just matches what I'm going for with the peach in general. So it can still paint on pretty dark, but it gives it so much more of a natural shadow. And now I'm just gonna continue on this side where it would split into the two pieces. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry and we're gonna paint the leaves on our first peach with using the black to shade. All right, so I'm just gonna go in with my green paint. And then I'm gonna let that dry and then we'll go back in with our black paint. All right, so now that my leaves are dry, we're gonna go in with some black paint just to add some detailing like I normally would with my other one. So 
So I'm gonna try to not make the black too opaque just so that it does still add subtle detailing. And I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna paint the veins of the leaves. Now I might also go in and just make the edges of the leaves a little darker so it stands out against the peach. All right, and I'm gonna go in with a brown paint and we'll paint the stem. And now just keeping it super simple, we're gonna go in and finish our peach. So I'm gonna mix the black with a bit of the yellowish color that I made. And I just wanna paint in that center line of my peach. So I've used my black paint for this. I'm gonna blend it out into the rest of the peach. And I can even add a little bit more of that reddish orange paint in there. And we'll just blend that out. Okay, so now we're gonna go back to our other peach and do the same thing, but the way that I would normally do it with my paintings. So I'll go in and I'll paint the leaves in. All right, and while the leaves dry, I'm gonna paint the stem so for this tutorial, I'm just doing a really simple version just so that you guys can quickly and clearly see the difference between the two. So painting the stem in, exactly the same. We have to let the leaves dry, so I'm gonna go in and finish off the peach to start. Finish off the peach. I'm just mixing some colors here. And I just want to make it even more vibrant towards the edge there. So I've mixed in another orange. I can mix in a tiny bit of blue with it to give it that darker look. And we're just going to go over top of this bottom edge here with a nice dark color. And I'm gonna go ahead and just blend that in to the rest of my painting. And now, like I did with my peach on the left, I gotta add the mark in so we know where the halves are separated. So what you'll notice here is that instead of using a black, I've mixed my colors just to create a nice dark version of what I'm already painting with, but it's just a lot deeper and darker to act as the shadow. Okay, and now with the leaf, I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna go in instead of with black with a really dark green. And I'm just gonna add the same details in. Then I can add some shading just to the edge there. So you can kind of see the difference against the peach. All right, and we're gonna leave it at that. So 
let's talk about some of the things that we notice that are different between each one. So first thing right away is by using the black on my first peach here, it really takes away the vibrancy of the colors that I was using. Because it's straight up black, it doesn't necessarily lean more warm or more cool. In this case, honestly, I might even say that it leans more towards the cool side because of how it didn't really mix that great with the yellow and with the orange. So you can see right away it becomes more flat. Um, if I'm comparing it to the one on the right, instead of using a black, I did mix in some blue with my orange just to give it that really dark look and switch the color up a bit from it just being a more pigmented, orangey, peachy color. So I did add that in to give it that deeper brown, but it actually looks like it's standing out from the paper so much more than when I was using the black. And I could, as it dries, it gets lighter. So I could go back into this one and I could mix more black with orange to make it a bit more contrasted, but you'll find that it's, it removes that vibrancy from your images. Same thing with the leaves. Um, when you're looking closely, the one where I used the darker green tone as my dark color, on top of the green, it just looks a lot more cohesive. It stands out a lot more. And yeah, you can just see see the difference of how it brings it to life more rather than using sort of a gray color on top. All right, so this is just a super simple comparison of using colors as your shading rather than using black. This is something that honestly I could go so much more into depth on and how to actually mix colors to get what you want. Obviously with an example like a peach, it's a super simple painting. I wanted to show you guys something easy just to be a clear example. But within all my paintings, I use the technique of mixing primary colors, mixing complementary colors to get black in so many different ways, depending on what I'm going for with what I'm painting. So again, here's just a quick overview. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys paint, do you use black in your paintings? Let me know, I'd love to hear. Leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel. See you next time.